Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. We are in experimental build for update 5 and probably one of the last ones. I think we're going live into the experimental build pretty quickly. So welcome from the future if you're looking at this. But yeah, today we'll be looking at one of the nicest features added for trains and well... It's actually because of another feature that was added for trains that we'll get to a bit later. But it is, of course, these signals. Now, if you look at these signals, you'll notice that they are turning colors the whole time from green to red. We've got robots. Yes. Signals. That one has now gone from green to red. This train is going to go... Yes, it's got its green, and there it goes red. So, how does this work? Now... As we look at this train going, we'll notice that these trains are standing dead still. Block signals work on blocks. Now, what do we mean by that? A block is a section of track that they're working on. So, to visualize this, they've added a nice feature where you can actually see what a block is. So, if I select the block, you'll notice that all of a sudden, it's colorful, very colorful. Okay, so now... If you look here, you've got that blue, that lighter blue, that yellow there, and then this orange, and then you've got another almost like light green, a darker green, and a red section. Now, that is basically just what the game considers a block and how you've set this up. So what a block is, is you need a bite, like this one that we've set up here is a bi-directional block. So to add a signal and add a block, you can't just add it anywhere onto the track. You'll notice that it snaps on at certain sections and not anywhere else. So you have to kind of be smart about it. So to try and explain, let's build a train track like this, which you normally would do because you're building a long train track. So with the example like this, you'll notice that this train track is well it is very hard to there at the ends i can add it and at the end so what that means is a block can only be added or these signals can only be added at end of a section so if we now do this we'll add three sections like this so now i've got three sections now you'll notice that i can add these signals to those blocks it's to see uh, oh yeah I've gone add it to that one but now if I add it to this part and I add it to this part now you can see what the whole block part looks so we've got orange red yellow those are the three different blocks that now is bi-directional and as you can see, at the moment, it's not detecting anything on this, so everything is green. So, here's a perfect example. This train is coming, it's going to have this block open, let's just select it. And you'll notice that it can now go to anyone, but this train is going straight on. So now, because it's in that blue block, this section is blocked off for any other trains. This train can go either left or right, but it's probably set up to go right, so now... That's going to block off on that section. That one's turned red. This train is now going to enter this block, stopping that train from going anywhere, and it's going to go to its block. Now you'll notice that this block is going to open up. There it turns green. Now it's red. And yeah, this block is open, but the other block, if we look on this side, so even though this block here is open, the orange block is closed. So that is blocks pretty much in a nutshell. Now, the trains will move these uh, new... It doesn't matter what these guys do. So even if you toggle the switch, I can try and toggle it. Let's see. Yeah. So I've toggled it. The train will automatically change it to whatever it needs to. So the next train coming through. So that one turned it. If I turn this one to left, that train will turn this one... To the right yeah there we go so it doesn't really affect that at all the only effect that these have is basically how to control this now why do you need them 
So let's just dismantle this site and I'll show you exactly why we need them. So if I dismantle just the ones on this side and I select this, you'll notice that that train is going to be blocked from going anywhere. That train will now stop dead in its track. It's not going to go anywhere. That signal will basically never ever turn green. That train is just going to sit there because and that train is just going to sit there because all the way from there, this whole section all the way to there is now considered a block. And it, these trains cannot enter that block whatsoever because of that. But now let's go even further. I'm going to remove this signal, this signal. Let's just remove all of these signals and we'll see how long it takes for the carnage to start. It shouldn't be long. Okay, let's go. That signal can go. That signal can go. Okay, so now there's nothing on this. Now you can see the trains are just going. It doesn't really care what's happening. And, well, disaster should strike any time pretty soon. Otherwise, we'll just jump in and show exactly what's happening. But those two trains are... Uh, the, the timing is looking like pretty much on time for this, so... Let's just see, I um, might just stop this train, okay, so let's just jump into this train, I'm going to disable self-driving, I'm just going to back it up into this spot, yeah, come on, ah. come on, go, 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 go. Okay, so let's park this train here in the middle. This train doesn't give. Oh no. <laughs> there we go. We've got an accident. Uh, surely that other train won't make the same mistake. I mean, this train just crashed and that one is, well, nothing is stopping it from hitting this whole thing full speed as it, uh, here it comes and there we go. Chaos! At least we get a nice indication that... So it's cool the first time you see it, um, but once you've actually got a factory running, you don't want to deal with this, because this is a pure mess to clean up. It's honestly... Uh, I can press E and I can re-rail this, so it will put the trains back on and then I can go fix it so now I've got all these trains in a line but now I have to fix it all again so it's easy to fix once they've crashed but then yeah as you can see they've stopped completely and now you have to start them all up again and reset everything and it's a pretty much a mess so yeah that is what the block signals are for remember something that I didn't show is let's just go to this what I did in these little sections here is that's the actual station and then I just added a small little section out in front of these guys. So out of every station I've got these little sections. Instead of doing one long piece I've got sections coming out. So I could stop the train in these sections. I've added a bit more longer sections there but I can add it to anywhere on these sections and put the, the block stop right there or I could put the block stop right there if I really wanted to. So if I've got a longer train I can do it here, if I've got something a bit shorter I can add it there. So but yeah that is basically how the block stops work. Hope that helps you guys. Uh, let me know in the comments. If you like what you saw hit that like button, hit the subscribe. I'll be back with another update 5 video very shortly. See you in the next time. Bye.